Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies. Now, if you've been following my witness walkthrough, you will have activated all the lasers and completed the game. And now there's one trophy left, and that is challenge. And that is for beating the oh, really impossible challenge. And I'm going to show you kind of a relatively easy way to do it. You're still going to have to have some skill. Now, first, to access the area, you need to activate the uh, this box right here doing the secondary power option. So you got to make sure you get the, t uh, the side of the box and under the box. That'll make the puzzle uh, available for you that we need to reach at the end of the game. Now, I'm not going to show you how to get down here because you saw that in part 12 of my walkthrough. But if you activated that top box, the, the bottom part of it, you will have access to this puzzle. Now, this puzzle has three diamonds, a lot of three diamonds. Now, the diamond puzzles, what that means is you have to, that's the, the number of diamonds indicates the number of lines you must draw on the outside of that box. So these are all three diamond boxes here. So we have to draw a line along three edges of that box. Now, completing this will gain us access to a secret door which is behind me. For some reason, it didn't dawn on me for a second there, but there you go. Now, it will shut automatically, so we'll run in here quickly, and if you need to get back out, you can just use this puzzle. Now, if you completed the game, you can load up the last autosave, and it'll actually put you right at the very, uh, the, the, the elevator at the very end of the game, which is nearby, so you can reload that even if you completed the game first. Now, we need to go through this door here, so, this puzzle is going to be the same for everyone. Now I say the same for everyone is because the challenge uh, area is a set of, I, I think 14 puzzles and they're always random. They'll never be the same. So they won't be the same for you as they were for me. So you're not gonna just be able to copy the guide. However, I have a easy way, well, relatively easy way for you to complete it while being able to take your time. Now this room here, by the way, you don't have to do any puzzles here. None of these count. In fact, I've never done them. So we're just going to run past them. Now, as you know, if you pause the game or return to your dashboard, the timer still goes. There's no way to stop the timer if you pause the game or return to the dashboard. However, if you enter rest mode with your PS4, it'll shut the system off, retain your place, and pause the timer. Now we have this pillar here. Once you reach this pillar, this is gonna gain us uh, entry into the area. These rotating pillars are kind of a pain in the ass and the fact that it's a diamond pu puzzle makes it even more difficult. Now I'm trying to go through this slowly here because you can really spin this thing quickly if you're, if you're not careful. So if you're just trying to route out and, and follow along here, um, it's tricky, but you can do it. Now the uh, the final challenge again, as I mentioned, it's on a timer. All the puzzles are completely randomized. Uh, the, the types of puzzles are all the same. And what we're gonna do in here is take a screenshot. If you have a mobile phone, a cell phone, anything, a camera, take a screenshot of the puzzle, and then we're going to enter rest mode. That'll pause the timer. It'll shut off the system. You will have an hour, days, however long it takes you to solve that puzzle. And then when you restart your PS4, it'll resume the, the last date and uh, you'll be able to continue on. And you'll see me do it oh, half a dozen times here in this video because I'll be honest, I'm not that good at this. All right, so we're in the challenge room area. This is actually the end room. There's three big main rooms. This is the end room. It has two pillar puzzles that flank this door right here. And then you have a maze here. This maze is very tricky, uh, although the fourth puzzle is actually the, the maze, so we're gonna take a screenshot of that. But again, we'll get there in a second. We have to get to the music box first to start the, uh, the uh, challenge here. All right, we're at the music box, so you slide left and down to start it. If you wanna reset it, you just uh, slide up. Now the music's gonna start. When the music stops, you if you're not done, you will fail. You'll have to come back here. Up there is actually just a timer, so don't worry about those. Now we have three relatively easy puzzles here. So I'm just going to go ahead and solve these straight away. As you can see, I'm not really close to the screen just because uh, you can actually move your cursor a little faster. The closer you are zoomed in, 
the slower it moves. Now right here, take a screenshot right now because that is the maze room and those orange dots are actually the location of the puzzle in that maze room. Now in this area you have four random puzzles uh, in four spots. The locations are all the same. It's random to which one is actually gonna be active first. So they're always in the same four spots. So after a few tries at this, uh, assuming you fail over and over and over like I did, you'll know exactly where the four locations are. And the four types of puzzles are the same. But each, uh, there's four different types of puzzle. Here is a Tetris shape. So this is gonna be my first pause. Not necessarily a pause, rather a enter rest mode. What I did is I took a screenshot and then I used uh, Microsoft Paint, and drew my outline, and as soon as I figured out the solution, I restarted the game so I was able to just quickly solve this puzzle without losing much time. Playing normally, I probably failed in this section alone many times. All right, so here, obviously, with the the the, the star puzzles, you need to have two, separate them in two groups of two, and still maintain uh, getting the Pac-Man black dots there. And I didn't do the uh, rest mode trick here. Probably should have. I didn't realize this was going to take me as long as it did. Looks like I'm about to solve it here. There we go. All right, so this is number four. This is just a simple maze puzzle. Now the next section has three screens that'll pop up. There's two different sets of it. So you're gonna first set of three. Two of them are decoys. Only one of them has a solution. So what I'm gonna do is pause it. Do it oh, not pause it, again, enter rest mode. I did a screenshot. Now I'm going to hit uh, the rest mode. So again, only one of them is going to offer a solution. So you, you can spend the entire, I think it's seven minutes is how long the song is that you have. But this is the correct board here, and this is the correct solution, at least for me. Because again, they're going to be random for you and I. Now you have another set of three. Only one of them is going to uh, give you uh, an actual solution here. Two of them are not going to have a, poss a possible answer. So again, screenshot, and I'm gonna be honest, it took me 10 minutes just on this puzzle alone. So I would have failed this entire challenge just from this one. Now by entering rest mode and you have your screenshot, you could take a week, two weeks, however long it takes. Take it to school, have other people help you. Maybe other people in the community uh, on different forums can help you. Tweet it out and, and see if anyone can help you uh, solve it. Now here's the maze. Again, this was puzzle number four. So if you took the, the, the maze in puzzle number four, it was that puzzle. So the orange dots on that one is the location of this triangle puzzle, which took me a little while as well. Probably took me five minutes for just this one. So again, I'm looking at my maze screenshot I took from the fourth puzzle, locating the next diamond puzzle. And you see, I walk through this quite easily. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do their, their walkthroughs and, 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 and trying to show this, this section and they're just running in the walls, turning around in circles and honestly making me dizzy. So I'm gonna just solve this here. And I have plenty of time now on the clock. So I'm just gonna walk casually out of this room because I know the route. And we're gonna go to the pillar room. Now, unfortunately, you can't just take a screenshot. I guess you could take like 10 screenshots if you like, because it's a round puzzle. So what I did is I actually just recorded, you know, 30 seconds of footage here, then uh, entered rest mode and then uh, solved the puzzle. And I've got a bonus for you guys. I'm gonna actually show you my, uh, my drawings at the uh, end of this video. So I'm not solving, I'm just trying to get a, a lay in the land here. And there's actually six or, uh, uh, I'm sorry, seven horizontal lines and six vertical lines. So if you want to try to draw, graph it out. You can see here, I'm just trying to find the location of all the dots. You can take many screenshots if you want. I just took a, a video clip. All right, now I know the solution. Come, come in here. Again, these drawings are going to trip you guys up. <laughs> I am not the best artist, let me tell you. But again, you can do all of this with Microsoft Paint.
So there you go. Now on this next one, you're gonna hear the music start getting more accelerated and it is, you know, I'm getting kind of close to the clock, but I'm really, I'm taking my time because I know I have time. As long as I figure out the solution, you know, the first time, I can, I, you know, I, I got a, a good minute here. I can kind of futz around. So I'm just kind of drawing lines just because it's easier to, to rotate the, the puzzle. Walking around and kind of choppy here. So I think I got it. Graphed it out. And it's a relatively simple puzzle when you look at it flat. And that's it. That is the challenge trophy. That is my platinum trophy. I'm gonna imagine everyone gets the platinum trophy in that spot. Uh, there's nothing in this box other than a, a piece of paper. But uh, that's it. I'm gonna let you guys see the uh, drawings here. Uh, that's kind of what I did. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and enjoy your platinum and we'll see you soon.